10 championships this week. What's exciting about this week in terms of this time of year as, as a wrestler and a wrestling coach? Well, everything, you know, kind of leads up to this and, and uh, you know, th this is the fun part of the year. You know, we love every match. I mean, you wrestle in rec hall, you know, the intensity and the atmosphere is, is uh, might even, you know, be, be stronger and greater than, than what we would see at a conference meet. But you know, there's more on the line, obviously, at the conference meet. So, um, so we look forward to the to the to the championships. Um, you know, that's what uh, as a competitor you should be really excited. You know, if you're if this is a time of the, the year and you, you're you know you're tightening up and getting scared and nervous and afraid of this or that, well, um, you know, you're probably not going to do as well as you should, obviously. So, you know, let's uh, you know we we we've got a team full of guys that, that love to compete, and the bigger the match, the better they're going to wrestle. So we're we're excited, and it's just a, it's an opportunity to you know go compete against you know the best, you know, one of the best, if probably the, the strongest conference in wrestling in the country. So you know it's a great opportunity for us. You talk about the team's attitude and the way guys approach matches a lot. What do you like about this group and how how they demonstrate an ability to do things you're just talking about, be competitive? Yeah, about? well they're very cons very consistent. You know it's the same attitude. I mean if we were if we had a you know, the tournament was starting an hour from now, it'd still be the same relaxed, uh, you know, calm, but, but ready to go, you know, and, and that's, that's what we want with our guys. You know, we, I want them to know, and we want them to think that, you know, if the tournament was yesterday, we would have been ready. If it's in 10 minutes, we're ready. If it's tomorrow, we're ready. So, you know, just that, that, that confidence and, and the calmness of knowing that, uh, that, that when, when the whistle blows, you know, we're, we're ready to go. Um, but these guys are, you know, they're, they're calm, but, but confident and excited. They, uh, you know, they know why they, they came to Penn State. They want to be uh, successful student athletes, you know, uh, students obviously first, but, but athletes. I mean, that's the reason, one of the reasons they came here. So, and this is, this is where, you, where you go do that. You do that at the, uh, you know, when you have, when you have an opportunity, you, you, you got to take advantage of it. How much have the seniors played a role in what you were just talking about there? And Nico and Jordan and Morgan, how much have they played in that calmness and being so confident? Well, I think, uh, you know, e each one of them are, are different in their own right. You know, Nico's a little more intense. Um, Conaway's kind of a quiet, intense, and, and Morgan's, uh, you know, he's a little bit more relaxed. But, um, but it's just, uh, it just comes with, I think, just experience, you know, experience. They bring a lot of experience. They bring a history of success with them. And, and you know, they, they know that they're going to feel great. You know, they trust us as coaches that we'll, that we'll have them ready. And, and, uh, and we trust them as you know, as student athletes, they're going to give us their best effort, and and uh, you know when you have that trust there, I think uh, it makes things fun, and we know what we're going to get out of them, and uh, hopefully they know what they're going to get out of us. How much have Zane and Nolf improved as the years gone? A lot of fans are thrilled with their yeah. records and such, but how much have they improved? Well, I think they've both improved a great deal. I think they, uh, uh, you know, Nolf's a little more evident because uh, you know he's a freshman, and but but Zane, even from I mean, he's just, you know, so so much fun to watch. But they're both, uh, you know, they have the ability to score points in bunches, and you know, when you're good in all three positions, and then you also have, you know, that inner drive. You want to be the best, um, but with the confidence and the ability to score points, uh, and conditioning is is something that is a factor for them. They're guys that, you know, don't get tired in matches. Um, you know, that that's a pretty good pretty good scenario for them, and and uh, and for our program. Knowing that it is a little bit of a smaller field for this tournament, what's the mindset like heading into a tournament like this? Uh, I think these guys know they know what's at stake. You know, I mean, they you don't have to tell a competitor, you know, hey, it's time to go now. You know, they uh, uh, maybe maybe some of them you need to kind of hold them back and, and make sure they're relaxed and they don't you know overthink something. But but they their comp you know competitor knows when to turn it on and turn it off. And you know we have to be that example as coaches uh, the best we can. Um, but you know these guys are ready to go, and, and they they uh, I think they're they're anxious, but but they know their time's going to come. So you know it's you can't do anything about the tournament today other than you know you know prepare. So it's just that that mindset of being relaxed but ready to go.